Hi, I'm Alicia Menendez. I was told I had three minutes, so someone put a timer on, because here we go. 2016, I was pregnant with my first baby, and I remember sitting in the doctor's waiting room, nervous out of my mind. It was the height of Zika. I lived in Miami, Florida. Thumbing through Parents Latina, each page felt like a reassuring hug from an old friend. Only it wasn't an old friend, it was a future friend, Grace Bastidas, whose warmth and care seeped into every page of that magazine. It wasn't the same saccharine copy I was reading in other publications. It was useful, it was smart, it was inclusive. It was driven by Grace's clear sense of mission, making sure that the stories her publication tells reflects the people they serve. What a concept. Given Grace's incredible success launching and growing Parents Latina, it was then no surprise when Grace made history, think about this, made history as Parents' first editor-in-chief of color in nearly 100 years. So long Grace's professional rise is just a perfect coda to where she found herself when she was a girl, when she found herself when she was a girl herself. Growing up in New York in what she described as a bubble of Colombianness, where Latin magazines like Vanidades reflected her life at home, and where publications like Sassy, if you're old enough to remember the magazine Sassy, you now need to take a magnesium supplement. Um, those magazines were struggling to keep up with a quickly evolving multiracial America. Grace, a product of both worlds, has finally merged the two. Here's where Grace's story feels like a pitch for girls right now. Only 8% of journalists in this country identify as Hispanic. I often hear from other Latinas of Grace and my generation that they desperately wanted to be a storyteller, but they felt that there was just no path for them. They didn't feel they could be some kind of something. Grace, by contrast, was made to feel that there was a path. She started as a high school journalist at her school paper, The Tower, where her profile of the special education department earned her accolades for her empathetic storytelling. She interviewed the president of the New York Stock Exchange and, absent a reporter, took her interview notes longhand. At Fordham, when she considered a detour, a journalism professor encouraged her to stay on the path. So sometimes, when I am at 30 Rock at my desk and I look up and I see Grace on the Today Show, <laughs> I cannot help but think how proud that student journalist at the Tower would be of her future self. Grace's life is proof that when girls' voices and ideas are nurtured, when they believe there is a path for them, they become unstoppable. And given the opportunity, they do the essential work of creating opportunity for others. Consider just one example, Grace's decision to put a gay solo dad on the cover of Parents Latina. My employer, NBCU, is a steadfast partner of Girls Right Now. I see a lot of other corporate partners in this room, Dot Dash Meredith, Harper Collins, my publisher, I owe you a second book, I am sorry, Macmillan, and Estee Lauder. Please join us and help mentor the next generation of writers, of leaders, and rely on Girls Right Now as a talent pipeline. You see the talent that is in this room. Because what the world needs is more Grace Pasidases. She knows that because she is out there trying to hire that girl. She knows there that because she is out there trying to raise that girl times two. Hello, Eva. Hello, Stella. And she is mentoring girls or has mentored girls through girls right now, helping them refine their voices, remind them that there is a path, insisting that the world needs them now more than ever. Please join me in welcoming to the podium Grace Bacidas.